Hi everyone. So, um, let me first put this light on. I don't know if this will be too much or if you're going to see what I am trying to show you here. I got um an order from a customer. They wanted me to to make um a certain bag. It's a laptop. If they wanted a laptop bag, but it's, um a laptop tote bag. So it's what I wanted to do. I wanted to show you um how I make one from beginning to end. So for this first part, um I'm going to be pattern drafting. I wanted to show you how I, I do the pattern. This is um uh, my pattern for the bag, but she needs it bigger because most laptops are like 14 inches, 15 inches wide. So I'm going to measure the laptop. I'm going to measure my laptop and then I base on that. But this is the pattern we are cutting out. So I got this off a pizza box. I, I cut out the pattern here. Then I, I glued it to a pizza box. So these are the items we need for pattern drafting. For me, I want I like reusing old papers that we, we aren't using anymore to do my patterns. It's what I use. I don't uh, spend money on pattern paper. Then, of course, a glue stick. I'm going to show you what I'm, I'm going to be doing with it. Uh, you'll see how I join the papers together to make them any size I want. This is a tape measure for measuring. Um, my paint brush and the glue. I use this to attach the uh, paper after drawing up my pattern on the uh, board on uh, like farmer things okay to make the pattern last longer so i need the glue and the paintbrush for that of course i'll need my pencil for what i'm marking out and rulers hmm i spent money on these but i rarely use them for cups i end up either using a plate or something round like this but sometimes i like to have them handy in case i have to use them and of course the um long rulers and this one that my son helped me break but i like it because it's see-through so as long as i've already marked um the places i need to use i can use it just to make the line straight i don't know i just like using this um another thing i wanted to let you know I'm, I'm just going to be drawing out the pattern here but i've been um taking time out i've always wanted to learn inkscape for 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 one of the reasons i wanted to learn it is for pattern drafting so I'm hoping to bring a tutorial soon uh, using Inkscape on how you can use it in your bag making and like crafting with sewing other accessories, customization and how to use it for pattern drafting. When I figure it out, I've, I've been dedicating at least some time a day to learning Inkscape. But for now, this is what we are going to be using. I wanted to, I got cut off, so I'm redoing this again. I wanted to show you um, what I did with the sticky tape. I don't know if you can see me. I'm in the glue stick. How oh, I got this <laughs> to make it wider. So I joined the A4 um, papers to make something bigger like this. Let's see. Let me do this here. There we go. See? So you're just going to get the papers and do that. Now what I did, remember we had said the width was 15 and a half and then the height was um, 12 and a half. I added another half inch to make 16 inches wide and then 13 inches for the height. So I, I drew that out. From here to here is um, 16 inches, and then from here to here is 13 inches. Then, remember we want this curve shape here. So what you do here, you get, um, I got, you go here, and then I measured 5 inches from down to up. I measured 5 inches here. And then I measured three inches at the bottom. So remember how I said the French curve rulers, that these rulers don't work for me sometimes. It's um, a bit hard to do the curve here. It didn't come out really well, so I resort to trusty plates. So I did this to um, do the curve shape from here to here. 
then you curve you, you, you draw your shape here you curve it up like that and then when we come here this is not a straight line it is a, it's slanting it gives you that hobo kind of look it's slanting here so to do this i came up here i'm really hoping you can see this up here at the top and then i took off half an inch but it was going to look funny i didn't like the way it was looking it wasn't giving me that nice slant so i did three eighths of an inch i took off three eighths from an inch from here to here i took off um three eighths three eighths of an inch and then you join you join this from three eighths of an inch to where you measured your five inches like this here to there hope i'm getting hope i'm clear then what i'm going to do i'm going to sh um cut out this rectangle shape that you're seeing when i'm done with that i'm going to come here like this and make sure this this is at the same height uh then the same level with this i'm going to make sure this and this are on the same level when i'm done cutting out the rectangle yeah i'm going to do this until they're at the same level and then you're going to get your paper scissors paper scissors people don't don't use your fabric scissors and then you're going to cut this shape out the reason i want to do this once from this side to this is that you want the shapes even you want it to come out evenly you don't want um, this to be a, a different shape to this one i finished cutting out my pattern so i'm going to after this i'm going to get a cardboard an old cardboard box and then i'm going to do the blue the white blue um on it the binding blue and then i uh, attach this paper such that it it's durable and it can work for a while now the next thing we are going to do is uh, measure our gusset that is from here around the back so you're going to take your tape measure and then you're going to measure coming round like this but be careful when you reach the corners make sure your measurements are accurate <clears throat> you're going to do that till here um mine i measured um it was 38 and quarter of an inch so i'm going to cut that out right now it's here so i want to talk about the gusset mm, i want to explain the gusset um this is um 38 inches the the length the height it's 38 inches the width is five now how i came to this i want my bag to be four inches i want it to be four inches yeah but i'm going to do five inches for um one reason i said i was going to add a divider to this bag and i have to account for seam allowance for that so because i want it to be four inches i'm measuring five five inches in the width that means the outer part of the bag i'm going to do a seam allowance of half an inch to get four inches i'll do half an inch um, on both sides then on the lining the part of the divider i'll show you how i do that um because i'm going to have to um the gusset for the lining i'm going to have to cut it in half to add the divider i'm going to um do half an inch a uh, quarter sorry quarter of an inch seam allowance for the divider then when i'm joining the lining i'm going to do quarter inch seam allowance as well such that it gives me um four inches by the time i am done because if you're doing half inch on both sides i mean quarter inch on both sides for the divider that is half inch then if you do um quarter inch on both sides for the lining that is also half inch uh half an inch which takes off um one inch to get the uh, four inches okay <laughs> that was a mouthful then we come here to the top remember our um our pattern the main part of the bag 
the front and the back it's slanted if we do this if we just do um so it in like this with this shape it's going to give you that funny boxy look so we want to give it a bit of a um a slanty shape as well i'm going to come here to the top now um kindly ignore this pencil this pencil mark i put here i i wanted to see which gas uh which size i wanted to do best so i took off half an inch from here to here half an inch and then also i hope you're seeing it mm, am i in focus okay half an inch from um here to here and then half an inch from here to here then when you come down here you measure from this to this eight inches same thing here from here to here it's eight inches so you take a ruler and then you join those together to give you this slanted shape now if you want them to be to look even when you're cutting you're going to get the end of this and match it to the end of this sorry i have a cold and then you're going to cut such that it comes out evenly and there, there we have our main um, pattern then i'll show you as uh, the video as we move along with the tutorial i'll show you how to do the pockets as well and we are done